Hey, what's going on, Scorpio Sagittarius Cubs? This is Solo69, and welcome to my channel. I am here for a September 2021 general reading. This is a special reading because um, I will be doing cups in the month of September. So, one of a kind. <coughs> this reading may not resonate for all of you, Scorpio Sagittarius. It's cups. <laughs> That's a crazy word so i'm just gonna say scorpio sag cups if you don't mind <laughs> so this reading may not resonate for all of you scorpio sag cups but if not it's cool it just wasn't for you you can check with your other placements or i suggest you check with anything that has scorpio or a sagittarius in it to see if anything hits home with you at that point or you can just enjoy the entertainment of it all you know how I get down. <laughs> Please take out the time to like, subscribe, and most of all, share the information or even share your comments to the channel. It's all good, you know? So we're going to get on into it and I'm going to go ahead and explain like I've been explaining in all the other readings, which I'm low-key getting kind of tired of explaining it, but it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and explain this picture of this mushroom my daughter drew. She drew a picture of a mushroom. She has a habit of drawing spiritual pictures, not knowing why. She brings them to me. I do my research. And this is what we came up with, the mushroom. And it's a place of chaos transformation. So it's a place where chaos can transform um, and a place for the ancestors. And it's tied to rebirth. So this is where you can gain information from your ancestors. This is pretty much considered the womb. It's often portrayed as a womb or a underground cave. It is a source of food, whether it's spiritual food, meaning that you're getting insight or information from your ancestors or either it is a source of actual food that you can eat like you can put it in your spaghetti your pizza salads blase blase whatever you're cooking mushrooms in <laughs> um it does signify longevity and good luck and it's a strong force of nature when it comes down to material wealth and gain and also a um, alert to financial issues it is um Considered a symbolization of God, uh, God's flesh as well. Considered a sacred plant that allows you, uh, that allows a person to communicate closely with God, I guess, when ingested. But I haven't done that, so I can't speak for it. If you have, let me know. Anyway, this does um, signify, like I say, rebirth, enlightenment, transformation, whether it's good or bad, or prosperity, um, safety, and good luck or luck. But when you're looking at it for safety and luck, make sure you pay attention to if you stumble across a broken mushroom or a stumpled mushroom or squished mushroom or something. Because sometimes that can alert you to having um, safety issues, being aware of certain things or even watching out for certain luck to go bad. This month, we got this new moon that came in in Virgo, of course, which brought positive change and excitement, self-awareness, and psychic abilities. It also allowed some of us to move outside of our comfort zone. Also, there was a trine in Uranus that stepped up, so you can check into your, um, do your research and check into that, because it, it did something, it brought some type of prophecy into motion here. So we're going to get into your reading and get off this other stuff. I did get some type of channel message coming in from you guys and it was self de self defense here so i'm not sure if it's self defense like needing to um really get some self defense classes because your ass can't fight and you need to learn how to defend yourself or self defense in certain things that you are working on um and you have to just defend keep put up or something of that sort or either you know there's a lot of love in the air as well and a lot of play fighting going on so some things may not seem as though what they really truly are or something may be more playful and it's not to take so serious so keep that in mind okay so scorpio sag let's go ahead and see what what message is highlighted for you and what's going to come out in this message we got something could be possibly growing for some of you oh shit yeah, and it could be some conclusions getting ready to step in so you can be able to see something. Something is rounding up. It's growing and rounding up. Almost at its completion. 
Just remain confident about whatever it is that you're working on and keep releasing whatever negativity that doesn't serve you any good or any justice. Make sure that you're continuing to surrender to the divine because that's how you're getting where you're going. You may just step into some type of new romantic cycle that could be coming along the way. But surrender to the divine is important. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance and understanding for Scorpio Sag Cups. Can you please show me the divine message that's highlighted for Scorpio Sag Cups for September 2021, please. Watch the clock. Ooh. I said watch the clock and then I tumbled with that with this card that almost fell off the table, but it did not. And you got nothing will come of this situation here. This is something that's voided out. For some of you, you need to be aware of that. But whatever it is, even though something got voided out the way, there is a win-win forecast that's still stepping in the play here. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius, or this could be something that's highlighted in your chart that you need to pay attention to. Um, yeah, because it could just have something to have some have something to do with this particular situation here. Um, now, what I'm seeing here that seems kind of strange is that you got a win-win forecast, but nothing is coming out of something as well. But then you have bring love into the situation that's coming out here. So this is something that needs to be checked a little deeper into for sure, because it looks like what is, something could be in the way, um, in the way of bringing love into the situation, but nothing is voided out, and it's like a win-win that's going to come in after that. But you have to take action to it and expect powerful change because. Something Something hidden is going to show up. And then those conclusions that I spoke on are going to come on and to reach for you. So it may just be something that could be in the way. We're going to check into it and see what's happening here. Because we got to bring love into the situation. But then you got it, it, it crowning, you know, crowning. Nothing will come of this situation. So nothing. So it's like somebody could be trying to bring some love into a situation that's just not meant to happen. Self-defense. Somebody could be on self-defense once again. Um, you know, somebody could be trying to give love, new love to a situation. And this has actually been voided out. Some, you know, because someone has a win-win forecast maybe somewhere, somewhere else. Okay. Somebody could be going out of their mind due to certain things that they may see as a facade, something that may not have seemed to be what it really was when it came into them putting services into a situation here. So this is something that you can expect a miracle to come out of, or you may have looked for some type of miracle to come out of, but instead you were just sitting back waiting for nothing. Um, it's kind of like giving something to a situation and getting nothing out of it. So you was putting more into it, putting more into it, but then you turn around and shit, nothing. You you didn't get anything back. So now it's time to get on that self-defense. Now it's time to get on the guard. It, it's okay to forgive what you, you know, the illusions. Let those things go. But it's okay to put your guard up about the services that you put into someone or another situation as well. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. When it comes down to bring love into the situation for Scorpio Sash Cups, can you please show me what that is pertaining to? Okay. So this is about having gratitude to a situation. Some of you could be pregnant. Some of you could get ready, be getting ready to have a baby, whether it is a physical baby, spiritual baby, career baby, whatever. You know, something is getting ready to hatch here at the same time. And this is about showing that gratitude. But yet someone may not be accepting something here and they need to accept something here. So it goes back to bring, you know, bringing love into the situation, but someone may not be accepting something coming to, into the situation. You're pouring love onto the carpet and it's, instead of into a cup, you know, and so it's really just doing what? Dissipating is going inside this rug and it's just drying the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And someone may be, um, won't, you know, wishing that they had more, um, you know, be, you know, a little bit more thankful. Someone is more thankful about someone is not accepting this. Someone is 
Someone wants someone to be a little bit more thankful about the love that they're trying to give, but someone is not accepting this love. Someone actually is looking for balance to a situation, but they may need to release this victimized situation instead, instead and go ahead and just grow. Um, and it may be some things you need to, yeah, like I say, release because it's about a renewal here as well something is gonna um be renewed but you have to realize that there is no more that you can really put into this situation let's go ahead and get a little more detailed here some of you could be looking at the situation like how much does somebody value you um the values when it comes down to the love that you may give um to them or even um, somebody could be really thinking hard about this situation. Like, okay, if I'm putting this into it, how much of it is actually being valued back? Um, yeah, if somebody's showing both of their hands and they may feel like they're not getting much back out of this. And instead, they're being told to sit back and chill on this situation. Rest on it. Be still on it. Don't move on it because it may be some deceit going on that you do not know about, that you may not be aware of. So this deceit, you know, some things are meant, you know, for you to um, sit back and read. It's time for you to just heal. You may have went through a lot of deceit. You're trying to fix some things. It could be some things just still floating around that's just unknown. And it's not going to allow things to come together the way that they, you would, I ain't going to say the way that they should or the way that they need to, because this is an energy of showing like, this is just something that's, I don't know. I feel like it's waved out. Like it's, um. I don't know. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Somebody needs to see something clear. Somebody may not be seeing something clear. And, you know, once you really see something for what it really is, then you'll have a better understanding that it's time to walk away. Someone is not accepting this cup. Okay, so let's see. When it comes down to acceptance in reverse... Tell me what that is pertaining to, please. Yep, somebody don't want to heal. You know, it, the more you don't accept something... The more you keep allowing yourself to waddle in. This is that strategy. You know, this is something that's being worked on. The journal, some of you could be writing your feelings out. Some of you may need to go in actually not trying to be funny at all, but maybe see a counselor or a therapist or um, someone that you may can talk this in, talk, talk something out on and get something off of your chest or your heart because... Uh, <clears throat> Someone could be trying to give someone some love. Someone is not accepting this love. And with them not accepting this love, it's a lot of things that's not taking place in healing because I don't know if this is taking place in the person that's trying to give the love or the person that's trying that's, that's, that's not accepting the love. But someone is not allowing themselves to heal based on this situation. Yeah, this could be someone could be definitely tied up in, in, in conflict here when it comes down to this. But you need to understand that nothing is going to come out of this situation right here that you're dealing with. Once again, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Right now, that's all I'm seeing. I did see another sign, but hell, it disappeared. Um... Some of you are looking for a peace of mind, but in, in something that's not meant for you to have it. It's something, you know, it's a peace of mind here. That's, that some of you could be dealing with the Libra, but there's justice here, you know, as well. But like I say, this peace of mind energy, someone is looking for it, but they can't find it. I got to find peace of mind. They're not finding it. And they're all tied up instead because they're not accepting. Someone is not accepting some type of offer here. All right, let's give me a quick storyline. This is um somebody. Yeah, 
Now, for some of you, there could be an offer on the table that you don't even know about, so you don't know to accept it. And this could be something that could actually bring healing into your life. But, um, somebody could be tied up where this offer cannot be given at this point. This does, does, it, this does have something to do with some type of connection. And somebody could be a little sad, a little in grief or depressed about some type of connection here. Um, someone could be um, very stubborn. They want what they want. So since they want what they want, they're kind of hanging around waiting um, for things to change that um, may not change. Yeah, because it's like they're waiting on things to change. It's like, I'm coming with half of it. What are you going to come with the other half? And someone is not stepping up with this other half energy here. They're, the person is being, this other person, I feel like, is being guided somewhere else. And, yeah, they're being guided to a different type of change. They're being guided to an ending, to walk away. And, yeah, it's kind of like someone wants them to look back. Like, don't walk away. You got to look back. So, so someone is offering. This is just what's happening. Someone is offering love to somebody. Somebody is not accepting this love, which is also not when some when somebody when their love is not accepted. It's allowing, the, I guess, the person that wants to give this love, this Aquarian energy. Um, it's kind of like it's being rejected from this Aquarian energy, right? So since it's being rejected, this person is not healing because they don't know how to accept the fact that there's nothing that's going to come out of this situation. And as long as they stay stuck in this situation, they're going to be stuck. And it's a, it's a strong possibility that they're going to miss out on another opportunity. You may need to change your strategy up or change the way that you're doing something to bring healing into you because he... The thing is, is that after you kind of realize that this is done, that there's nothing that's going to come, that this person is just not worth it, you know, worth going through all of this about and you actually move the fuck on. What's going to happen is that you really got a win-win forecast that's coming in right after the fact that's bringing justice to you. But you got to be able to take action to this situation. Now, some of you could be dealing with the um, Aries as well. Because there is some type of powerful change that's going to be coming in. And with this ecliptic energy coming in right behind this taking action. Because once you take action to let something go, to release something. There's something powerful that's going to come in and bring justice to you. But this is hidden energy because it's kind of like, do you accept a rerun of some shit? or, or Because now you got to, once again, self-defense energy came back. Once Now you got to put your defenses up. So are you going to keep trying to battle with something and then be you know defenseless about the situation to where you don't heal from the shit or are you going to go ahead and <clears throat> release it take that time and realize take the action to realize that nothing's going to come out of this so let me go ahead and go on let me go ahead and let justice move in my favor because i'm doing as much as i can and there's nothing i can't get nothing out of this so it's time to press the fuck on you know what I'm saying? And it's like, with that, you this powerful change, something that's unseen. Because if, if you see it before, it's kind of like, how do you appreciate something if you see it before it gets there to you? You know, and if it's, if and, and, and you don't want to just turn around and look at something. Okay, like, you really fighting hard to hold on to this over here. Not knowing that what's over here on the other side of the fence is like so much better than what's over here. But if, if God was to turn around and show you what he got for you on the other side of the fence, it, it, it's like, are, are you going to drop what you're working with because you see you see what God got for you is so much prettier, it's so much more better, it's what you really wanted instead? Or do you have the faith to walk away from what he's saying is not good for you? That doesn't serve you any justice. That nothing is going to come out. That he's already voided out. Are you going to sit there with that? You know. And just wait. Because you don't, you're don't. you unsure what God got for you. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you other than deal with it. Because if, <laughs> because if, if God got it for you. Why, why, why second guess that? Go, go to what God has for you. Let's, get, let's go ahead and do it. 
Some of you definitely are trying to go within and figure out what's the best thing to do. Um, to, you know, create make something out of nothing, whatever it is that you're trying to create. Some of you are being guarded and don't even understand it. It's like you're trying to break down the spiritual guard. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. And you don't understand that you're being guarded for your own good to a situation here. Something is not clicking for a reason. Okay, so when it comes down to the storyline for Scorpio Sagittarius, oops, please show me the storyline for them. Yep, somebody's being stubborn, point blank, period. And they're kind of rushing in without really thinking about what they're doing because they're filled with passion. But this is something like a flame. This is something that's like flared up really quick. And just as fast as the flame grows, the flame could die out. You don't want something that's going to come in fast because it leaves just as fast as it comes. You want something that moves at a steady pace so you can grow at a steady pace and everything can stay found. You know, a foundation could be set. Um, so you got this king of wands coming in at the back bottom of the deck. Someone rushing in to try to restore something, to restore some type of marriage. And this is like, I don't know if they're restoring some type of marriage towards the emperor or the emperor is trying to restore some type of marriage here. But there is the two strong, the two strongest men of the deck is here. And I don't know if they're trying to restore some type of communion or something something's happening here look i don't even know if this is you know somebody could i don't know if this is even about a relationship no more this seems like it's some type of agreement some type of establishment uh oh let's see what this is okay so we got strength here in reverse somebody definitely Leo energy is here, Aries energy is here, and we have Taurus energy here. So someone definitely was brought to a situation and fed information, intuitive information about something. Something that could have allowed their feelings to roar the fuck up. <laughs> something, you know, wave up or call it however you want. Twist up or <laughs> hurricane, I don't know but something someone was brought down a journey to you know drink from you know to, to drink some information here and this is spiritual information is being drunk in and this is something that's speaking about some type of seed that was planted here that someone needed to walk away from because it you know it, they got enlightenment about it so what's happening is that it's like somebody's in and out and, and, and back and forth trying to restore something but not really sure if they want to restore it but this is like a marriage and it's like some type of business as well but it's like i don't know what this is it's definitely something strong as hell though with this emperor and the hierophant stepping out together Well, somebody is trying to walk away from this situation here. Um, and they don't have the strength to keep up with this. Or um, they're trying to keep the strength to tame something. Something is out. You know, somebody does can't no longer tame the way they feel about a situation here. This is like out of control energy. I'm catching, I'm catching like a fight. <laughs> like... You know, yeah, I feel like somebody could get hurt if they're not careful. So be careful with, with how you're trying to communicate. Um, then the reactions, you may not. <clears throat> Don't feel so good. That's all I'm going to say to that. So, when it comes down to bring love into the situation for you, Scorpio Sag, clarify. Got bring love into the situation, clarify for Scorpio Sag, please. 
please take out the time to like, subscribe, and share if you care. All of that good stuff. All right, somebody could be on a mission, but this could be some type of Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Aquarius, your energy is showing up, even though this is not for Aquarius. So, so Aquarian energy is showing up harder, harder in this situation. This is somebody who could be a little cold-hearted to a situation, and they're being told to bring love into the situation because, as you can see right here, this is a mean, cold-hearted king. Um, someone who mean mugs a lot, but they don't really get much victory out of this mean way of being broadcasting this type of energy does not get far. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So when let's get it, when it comes to acceptance in reverse, clarify for Scorpio Sage, please. All right. So someone may not want to undergo some type of training, some type of help. So this is not just so this is so this is acceptance to some type of training or help or some type of teachings. Someone doesn't want to be taught. Someone is not accepting that. Yeah, they don't. But they're, they're, they're also releases here in reverse. Someone is not does not know how to walk away from something as well. Okay, so someone may not want to accept some type of different type of teaching or training because they don't know how to walk away from something else. And so whatever it is that I was speaking about earlier when I was talking about accepting and then somebody having the gratitude because they're pregnant, this is what somebody prayed for to bring balance into their life. And then, but they need to learn to release certain things, especially a victimized mentality, so they can begin to actually grow. This is an emergency because it's time for them to renew some things. And this is renewing something from the past. And patience is here with trickery. You got some tri people around you or situations around you that could be trying to trick you because, of, you know, they, they know that their time is running short with certain things so they're trying to get things done before time actually steps in and does what it has to do time has to reveal the truth time is god so when you got someone not releasing something because they're holding on to something else but this is somebody who's really clever minded like i say intelligent person they could be young minded they could definitely be spying on you but this is a king this is just a young minded ass king it's an aquarius energy does not have to be an aquarius but it is extreme it's intelligence here so it, that can't be ignored somebody is a real strategic person and strategy is here so this does so some of you that this could have something to do with a relationship but for some of you i feel like this is some type of business deal or something like that so let's keep going we got the healer of all ages in reverse clarify somebody is just trying to find peace to a situation here but they could be you know they they're not getting that at all and someone is trying to actually take a fire out of the situation this is a lot okay so this is um yeah this is no hope no new there's no seed planted somebody because it, it goes back to that seed that i spoke on being planted and if something is not if, if this teaching is not accepted there's a seed that's not being planted as well if someone is not trying to undergo certain types of training or learn something new when it's time for them to learn something new this is strong north node energy that's stepping in we got this cold-hearted ass king that popped back up so the aquarius is back empress is here coming in someone okay so an aquarius could be sizing up an empress while the empress is just taking up for taking up for herself and trying to clear her name okay so an empress is trying to clear her name to a situation trying to take up for herself now this empress uh, you know it could be you know sizing up their opponent so this is a, a fight it's a fight it's a fight <laughs> 
This a fight. Okay. So so we got we had a higher friend here. Now this could have something to do with the marriage, like I say, with the emperor and the empress. Now what I am catching here is that this emperor energy. So the okay, so self defense is maybe what the empress is doing. Or I don't know. Because the emperor then showed I mean not the emperor, but this king then showed up twice. And both times he in the same space, mad as hell, or just cold hearted and angry. And he's being told to bring love into a situation, but he's too young minded right now to do that. That means he's just stuck in his own shit, which, you know, <laughs> we get like that sometimes. Sometimes we just have to let, 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 let time and let nature and let moments cool themselves down. So we got this empress here that's, okay, this has something to do with a marriage because we have this empress here. This king, this, the emperor is looking at the marriage. So this is what's happening. And we got this empress here that's really trying to take up and clear their name. Um, but they don't have, they don't have someone's back to a situation here as either, you know. But it is some sizing up going on. Both I don't know if both of y'all sizing up each other right now. I don't know what's happening. This could be a company and the and, and like the creator like like go bumping heads with each other. The like a company and a creator with the company or two main people of a company really starting to bump heads with each other here. So. Someone could be stuck in, in a grief life situation, crying over spilled milk. The empress is crying over spilled milk. We have an empress here crying over spilled milk. Why? Fruits of labor, because of money, because of um, certain certain achievements and hard work, it may feel like they're getting, they're, they're losing. Things that they felt like they worked on a whole. This is a negative empress now that I'm seeing this energy. We got two empresses showing up here, unless it's just the same empress, but one looks like it's heading towards a positivity, and one is looking like it's heading towards a negativity. So we got an emperor, two empresses, a higher friend, and a king. I don't know what's popping off here. <laughs> One of these empresses is given that they're upset because of luxury, because of um, something with their husband, grief and depression, losing their strength. And we have another empress here that's been getting sized up or sizing up someone, but they've been taken up for their name and trying to clear their name. So I don't know what's happening with these empresses, but there is a mug shot here and there is a victory that wasn't had as well. And once again, a seed that wasn't planted to a situation here either. Clarify all tied up because somebody all tied up. Somebody is wrapped up in this shit for real. Clarify all tied up. And this is a bunch of confusion. Uh-oh. Hold on. What's happening? Okay, this is a bunch of confusion. It is. Somebody is trying to really get the truth, though. But it's a bunch of confusion. Clarify all tied up. this tradition whatever this inheritance is this family business so somebody could be all tied up into this business and this is not gonna allow no type of healing this is about focusing on that on work and honoring skills and teamwork so somebody is working together with something like i said this is like some type of business thing i don't know business deal gone wrong i don't know so what we got here is strength here in reverse. Clarify strength in reverse. Uh, 
Okay, self-sabotage. Somebody is self-sabotaging themselves and they're digging their own graves and it is a no to their happiness. Somebody is not happy. Somebody is getting betrayed to a situation or betrayal or it, and, and gossip is being whispered around and shit. Somebody could be talking shit about a Leo or either, yeah, could be. Uh, it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. So yeah, somebody could be in, in a mugshot situation and not even know it. You know how you could be walking around people? It makes me think of the office. <laughs> Shit, it makes me think of the office. So just because I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm, I'm, I can do it. Because, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the office deck <laughs> because... And this is random, so you get an extra, an extra tree. Scorpio Sag, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but, yeah, because it makes me think of someone at work. What's happening at work? Like, somebody's spreading rumors or something, and somebody's, like, in the spotlight, but not not in a, not in a, not in a positive way. It's like a mug shot. Like, they getting talked about at work. And they don't know it. Why is this shit funny to me? It could be me, shit. But <laughs> they get talked about and don't know it. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Let's get a message from the office. What do you have to say based on this? Somebody, because I just really do feel like somebody is growing their own grave real quick. You know, like self-sabotage and don't even realize that they're being whispered about slandered. Their name could be getting slandered and jealousy and stuff like that. Clarify or give me some information about the self-sabotage in here. What's going on at work for this for these people? Let me give you this quick. Ooh, okay. So this could have something to do with some type of happiness that you did have at work. And once again, we got both of these coming out. So it's like it is there we got the ten of hearts right there and the ten of hearts on both sides so this is pertaining to some type of happiness but somebody could definitely that happiness could have turned into a fucking nightmare somebody could have been dating someone fell in love with someone at the job or some shit and it's like now they emotionally can see things they was wrapped up in emotions but now they may see something clear for what it truly is and see someone for truly what they are look at how he's looking <laughs> look at how he's looking someone may need to get a hairline shade in or something off the record just saying somebody could be bald or bald. <laughs> <But> shut up <laughs> So what we got that came off the table once again is the king of the same motherfucking king. This one. <laughs> so the king of swords that fell off the table. This Aquarius is off the fucking table here. Okay. So yeah, just to get more insight about this situation and what's popping off the Aquarius is off the table. Why? Somebody somebody's getting inspected a little bit deeper before they walk away from something somebody <laughs> somebody is getting ins inspected a little, so it goes back to that whispering and betrayal and gossiping and backbiting yo look at this shit yo <laughs> The Aquarius is off the table. This king is off the table because they're being inspected or they're inspecting something before they walk away from it. They're checking in close to something. Something here. Somebody is trying to gain victory and getting fed something. Somebody's trying to serve something on the silver platter to someone. Not knowing what? Not knowing that this is just going to cause somebody to hold on to it a little. You know, this is like holding on to... Um... I'm mad at you type shit. Like, I got this type of, oh, uh, against you. So, I don't even know the word. Honor. Honor. What's the word for, like, when somebody, like, aggravates you to death? I mean, I guess that's, never mind. Annoyed, aggravated. They all one and the same. You just drove to a person at this point. And this could be a queen of cups. This could be a cancer. This could, somebody could be really tr holding on to the anger that they have for a cancer. And maybe because she's looking at a king of pentacles. What the fuck? Like, I'm looking at this. You see how she's looking at this king of pentacles smiling? 
Yo, so this could be what's popping off and somebody really got a fucked up ass problem with this bitch. I see you too. I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and somebody could, you know, realize that, and you know, so somebody like, you know, oh well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead real quick and give you some advice because that was just a little bit of fun on the side for you. <laughs> here is Scorpio Oops. and don't forget to like subscribe and share if you can all of that good stuff thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding what advice motivation or encouragement do you have stay optimistic keep that aggression alive you're doing it for a reason you know, you know, somebody may not know how to accept the, the gratitude that you give to a situation. And also about not taking action to certain things because you don't want to be entitled to something for nothing. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure that you preserve your ideas, keep certain things a secret to yourself. Don't take any action on the things that you see, even if it piss you off. Just be still. Peace, be still. And then on top of that, make sure that you um, look at what you're entitled to and you dis, you know, dismember what you're not entitled to. Don't worry about what's not meant for you, but where it takes to grab, come go get everything that's yours, honey. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and subscribing to the channel. I would holler at you later. Scorpio Sagittarius Cups. <laughs> Deuces.